Chris Holder with Concord Battery. We're noticing that a lot of people, particularly because of the price of fuel and such, are maybe flying a little bit less. That can have some effect on how their batteries operate in their airplanes. What do pilots need to know about an airplane that's sat for a while as far as its electrical and battery systems are concerned? Well, there's a couple of different things that you can do to extend the life of your battery. Uh, first and foremost, if you're not flying a lot, you can take your battery out of the aircraft, make sure that it's fully charged, and store it in a cool, dry place. The one great thing about sealed lead-acid batteries is they discharge very slowly. And the cooler it is, the less they will discharge. So that's number one that you can do. The second more common thing that you can do is get a float charger to attach to the battery when you're not flying. Now it's very important that you use an aircraft specific float charger because when manufacturers ask us to make these batteries they want a lot of power in a small box and so the plates are very thin. Now as a result if you overcharge an aircraft battery you can warp or even melt the plates. So an aircraft specific float charger and there's really only one that we recommend it's made by VDC Electronics it's called a battery minder and it has an excellent voltage regulation system on it which will allow you to put in the proper amount of voltage it also has a temp sensor on it which will regulate the amount of voltage that goes into the battery because if it's hot you don't want to put as much voltage into the battery and conversely if it's cool you'll pump a little bit more into the battery. But the deep, dark, dirty secret to making a lead-acid battery last is to keep it fully charged so the plates don't have the opportunity to sulfate, which decreases the performance of the battery. So that float charger, which you can leave on for a day or a year, you can leave it on as much as you want. And since aircraft aren't flying as much, it's an excellent way to extend the life of the battery. Aero TV is brought to you by Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.